I'm James and in this video I'll attempt to explain how tier counts work in less than two minutes. Start the clock. What is a tier count? A tier count is a visual representation of an account. Let's think about this. An account is a place where a business records and stores all transactions that affect a related group of items. Back in the day, transactions and accounts were stored in large books called ledgers. But nowadays, they live inside computers. This is great and all, but it can be hard for us to visualize what the accounts themselves actually look like. So we use T accounts. They're called T accounts because they're shaped like the letter T. The account name goes on the top, debits go on the left, and credits go on the right. To help remember this, you can add a little dr and cr above each side. Now, let me show you how T accounts work. First, you should know that all accounts can be sorted into two main groups. We have normal debit accounts and normal credit accounts. At any moment in time, we'd expect to find the balance of a normal debit account on the left of the T account, which is the debit side. And we'd expect to find the balance of a normal credit account on the right, the credit side. A simple way to remember this is to use DELA. DEA stands for dividends, expenses, and assets. These are on the left of DELA, so they're normal debit accounts. That means they increase when we debit them on the left and decrease when we credit them on the right. LER stands for liabilities, equity, and revenue. These are on the right side of DELA, so they're normal credit accounts. They increase when we credit them on the right and decrease when we debit them on the left. Example time. Imagine that you run a mowing business called Lawn and Order. You start the month of May with $4,000 in cash. Cash is a type of asset, the A in dealer, so it's a normal debit account. That means your opening balance goes on the left side of your cash tier account. On May 4th, you perform